Chief. Yeah, Helen. I need to talk to you. Let me guess, it's about the request you made. Yes. I'm gonna tell you like I told Brian, I don't think it's a good idea for you to be a part of this assignment. What do you mean it's not a good idea? If not the best, then I'm one of the best that you have working on the force. You're an excellent detective. No one's disputing that. <laughs> then put me on the task force. I can't. I can handle this. Are you sure? Yes. What the ranger did to you and your friend was horrible. I don't think it's a good idea for you to face him. Please, Jennings. This is so important to me, and I'm asking you as my friend to please do this for me. I promise I'm not going to make it personal, and I'm going to be completely professional about it. I've never asked you for a favor, but I am asking you to do this for me. I promise that you can trust me. Promise me you won't make this personal. I promise. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Helen, don't you make me regret this. I won't. God, I hope not. You know, it's not such a good idea to leave your doors unlocked. Especially in this part of town. Shit happens. How come you haven't responded to my phone call? I didn't want to. Just like that? I didn't want to, ma'am. So this is your plan? You just gonna sit here and rot? Something like that. If that's the case, I should've just left you in jail. Or maybe you should have. You don't believe that. I know why you're here. And you already know my answer. In order for this assignment to be successful, you have to be a part of it. I need you on this one. Look, I know you're beating yourself up over what happened with that hostage situation. But if you ask me, you made the right call. More people could have died. Well, I know a judge who thinks differently. Now, I can't say I disagree with him. The team I already assembled is pretty impressive. Especially this one girl named Helen Stacy. In fact, she reminds me of you. The two of you working together, this ranger son of a bitch don't stand a chance. I believe you know the way out. Fine, have it your way. You know, this whole loner act thing you got going here is so old and cliche. Clean yourself up, Lieutenant. You have a job to do. I remember when that used to mean something to you. Helen will be a part of this mission, and due to her personal past history with the Ranger, I just wanted to talk to you about it first. You are here because you're the best of the best. And as you know, the Ranger has resurfaced himself after 10 years. He has already killed four innocent people, and if history repeats itself, he will strike again before disappearing. Your mission is to go out in the forest and capture him before he gets a chance to disappear again. I still don't understand how we're going to catch him. We will have three teams that will go out into the forest and search for the killer. Each team will have a leader who knows his way around the forest well. I have a list of places a ranger may be hiding. You will investigate those places. Agent Loomis here is your new team leader. Don't worry. I know my way around the forest pretty well. I promise not to get you guys lost. And if we have time, we'll even roast marshmallows. <laughs> I don't believe this. What the hell is he doing here? Relax, Lavender and Corn Sweat. Huntley will be a part of this mission. You're joking, right? Does it look like I'm joking? I didn't think so. Any questions? Oh, uh, sorry I'm late. Today we pay respects to 
to fallen comrades and friends who have died in the line of duty. Helen Stacy was an extraordinary person. For every life she saved and every criminal she put behind bars is a testament to her legacy. She made the streets a safer place for us all. Not only was she a damn good officer, but a kind soul that will be truly missed. She touched the lives of so many people, and in the end, that's the best gift a person can give. May she rest in peace.